Welcome back, gang. How have you all been going since we last saw you? Tell me everything. As you probably guessed from my outfit choice, we aren't in Greece anymore. So think of this as more like Charlie in the future sort of style. Let's rewind though, because we still have a hell of a lot of Greece to show you, including this week we make a huge decision to skip Athens and instead continue our road trip down to the Peloponnese region. Did we regret it? Absolutely not. This week we show you why we decided to skip van city life in Athens and instead go on the hunt for more of Greece's BEA beautiful hidden and not so hidden gems, including caves, shipwrecks and even a turtle beach. Cute! To make sure you can follow the rest of our Greece series and the rest of our van life journey, please tap that subscribe button so you can follow along. Well, should we crack into it? Welcome back gang. So we left you last week, we were in Delphi, you know, like the Tempo Apollo and stuff. This week we're heading further south down towards the Peloponnese. We're currently driving down the coast. The further we've been driving down the coast is just beautiful and blue. Charlie's in the driver's seat right now. We're off to go see the cave of the seal now. So I think just a quick pit stop on the way, have a swim there for a wee bit, and then we'll carry on down to the Peloponnese. We're going to climb down this path. There's a rope. So Charlie has gone full hobbit mode. Yeah, he's getting grounded. Oh, I feel like I'm in a little flamingo. I think you literally just found a slice of Greek paradise. We were just saying, like, people would pay to go on a boat trip to places like this. And we have found it on Google. So yeah, it's a bit of an interesting sea climb, but it's free. It's free. And now we start the climb back up. The mountain goat is out in full force. Not a good sign when there's a rope, is it? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! yeah nice. Cave of Seal. Get to it. Free, on the way to the Philippines, however you say it. And it is just, look at it. Get there. It's gorgeous. See ya! Good morning from Greece. So today we are going over there. What is it called? Mene Moninvasia. Moninvasia. So that means one way. And it's one of the most important medieval fortress cities in Greece. So they built it over there to be hidden from all the attacks, which is very smart. So we're gonna go wander over there. I've had a very strong Fredo espresso coffee. Fredo means cold, so I'm ready to go. Are you ready to go? Let's go. Yeah. And also, side note, decided to skip Athens. We we came to the conclusion that we've been told so much nice stuff about the Peloponnese that we've skipped Athens. We did Delphi, and plus I've already said to Morgs if we come back. Well, when we come back to Greece, I want to do an island boat trip so we'll have to go to Athens anyway so now we've got more time on the Peloponnese and then we're gonna go do some islands further on but for today we're gonna show you this so a few interesting points about this town it was founded in the 6th century um, and it used to be one of the main trading points along the eastern Mediterranean. So after the collapse of the Roman Empire during the Dark Ages, where I guess everything around the area was struggling, this was one of the main thriving medieval cities because it was a trading point between the likes of Sicily and everything as well. After exploring the town, we found a nice little swim spot on the side of the island just to chill out for the rest of the day. 
It's another day today for our hair loving. Got a few little sights to go see. They were heading west along the Peloponnese, and there is a shipwreck called the Demetrius. <laughs> Demetrius <laughs> shipwreck, which it's just like a quick stop along the way, but a lot different to the sunken one we saw the other day because this one's above ground. It's like a Greece's version of Pirates of the Caribbean. What are all these silly pilots doing over here? They just ships sunk everywhere. You can't park your boat there. <laughs> We are inside the shipwreck. What the funny? You know how many times you've done that to me now? It has no effect. So, fun fact about this shipwreck is it was actually abandoned and burned because it was evidence of them trying to smuggle cigarettes all the way from Turkey to Italy. So it's a naughty, naughty boat. And it's about 67 meters long. So you can walk around, around at this side. We're not too sure about that side. But pretty epic that this is off the mainland and you can just see a shipwreck like this. Greece has a thing for shipwrecks. Liking it. Now for that we'd probably just recommend like a quick stop over. Well, obviously awesome to see the, the shipwreck but I feel like there's better beaches along the coast so we're about to head down a little bit further try and find this little beach town. Yeah, Abila. 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 Yeah, <laughs> so we're gonna pop on over there now. We're moving a little bit like quicker around this area because we do have those restricted amount of days in Greece because of our Schengen visas so we just want to make sure we're getting to the main places we want to see so so this place isn't called a villa it's called a Lita. and look at it <laughs> who needs a Greek island eh Now we won't show you too much of that. It's a bit messy. A bit messy. Okay, so now that's done and we've had our coffee. We have made it to Void Achilia Beach. Hope I'm saying that right. It looks amazing. So we can't wait to see it and show you guys as well. Like I actually don't understand how it can be hot this quick. Like it's 10.30 and it feels like it's like 40 degrees or something. Summer, eh? But now I'm taking Samurai Sam to the beach. <laughs> Got it. Setting up camp for the day. <laughs> After our day of being absolute beach babes and Morgs getting very burnt. very burnt. We are on our way to the next beach which is a large nesting ground for Coretta turtles. The beach that we were at today was also another nesting ground and fun turtle fact for fellow turtle lovers is that 
turtles nest on the same beach that they were born on so that's why it's really important that all these beaches are being looked after so they don't you know don't go extinct please tell me someone that your front compartment of the van looks like this as well and it's not just us <laughs> the main culprit So we're trying to find a park for the night and this is similar to our Go Back to Chappy adventure. And we're just going through all these olive trees. Hopefully it all makes sense in about five seconds. Is this the drive of shame? Wrong way. It's funny, I don't know whether any of you have been to Aussie, but in Aussie they have a sign that says wrong way go back. Favourite sign. Like what do you mean? Like this like one way, you can't go back. Like you screwed it. Like it's over. So we have arrived. We found a spot of shade. So hopefully this is all good. So we're just under this tree. Maggie should get some good shade tomorrow. Nice. So we've bought the essentials for turtle watching. And it's got a turtle on it. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it means something to them and they'll come see us. So they have heaps of these little nesting things right up and down the beach. So this is the most like nesting things that we've seen on any beach. That's big mama. There's one huge turtle going in there. <laughs> so a few things we've realised. It's obviously not going to be the big turtles coming up because they've already come and done their thing. So it's probably going to be the baby turtles hatching. Now I've been looking up a few things about them. They typically hatch between 9pm and 5am in the night. So. Charlie reckons we're going to pull an all-nighter. Yeah. Sorry. Maggie might be coming on the beach and all <laughs> But also, they're not all going to hatch at once, which is probably a silly thing we thought. So, they typically take 55 days from when they're popped out. <laughs> <laughs> popped out to when they hatch. So all these little turtles are going to be done at a different time. So, we'll see how we go. Like, do you reckon they're all under there and they're like, knock knock, Jimmy! <laughs> <laughs> Don't name! Are you coming out soon? What's your name? And then Tommy's like, nah, bruh. Yeah. I'm just gonna chill down here for another few weeks. Yeah. Keep mum waiting. Cheap rant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no turtles, but it isn't 9 pm yet, so. We've made a vow that before we go to sleep tonight, we're gonna come back out and see if any of them are gonna go into the sea. Okay, so it's 10.30 p.m. We've just come back out to the beach. Come on, turtles. It's time to get up. Yeah, no luck so far. It's nice walking by the beach though. So we didn't find any turtles hatching tonight. Um, yeah, a bit of an off chance, but we saw all the nests and we saw a stone that had the dates on of June and then the date from last week. Mm. So we're having a feeling that maybe when they were laid and then when they were expected to hatch. So, I mean, feel like we saw all the trails going down the beach of like where they'd be we had no idea there. what we were looking for really nah <laughs> we're turtle hunter amateurs but it's cool to cool to go check out and cool mm. to know they're there but yeah it's late now or late for us anyway so they also had lots of dogs on the beach mm, yeah like dogs barking and stuff so you think with it being like a nesting ground you wouldn't allow dogs on there gave it a crack now we're going to bed Nanai. 
Well, that was a top parker. And Elia Beach, really, really good. Like shade, um, like so quiet at night and it was all free. Like there's so many spaces you can park behind the beach on park for night so that's really good we're off to um the next stop Kalini where we get our ferry to Catalonia bye bye for night now this spot at Elia beach was the perfect way to end our time on the mainland of Greece next week we see if we can do island van life who's ready <laughs>